Hi, my name is Dr. Shalini Kamodia, and I'm a dentist at Gentle Dental Care in Vestal, New York. Today I wanted to talk to you about Novocaine. Uh, a lot of times I get questions after I'm done with a procedure, like how long will this numbness last, or how long before the Novocaine goes away and I can eat something. Um, the generic answer is two to three hours is us usually a reasonable estimate um, before you'll be safe to eat something. But there's a lot of things that affect how long that numb feeling is going to last. Um, each person is different and a lot of that has to do with genetics and metabolism. So people that have a really high metabolism are generally going to process that medication through their body faster and the numbness will go away sooner. Um, if you've ever had anesthetic in the past, then you kind of know whether it lasts a long time for you or if it goes away quickly. And that will tell you whether your body is processing that very quickly or very slowly. And each person is individually different. Um, other things that affect um, how long that anesthetic lasts is the type of anesthetic that's used. So we say Novocaine, and that's a colloquial term that everyone kind of knows as the dental anesthetic. but Technically, we don't actually use Novocaine anymore. Novocaine was used 30, 40 years ago. Um, we have newer, more effective um, anesthetics nowadays, things like lidocaine, septicaine. Um, they all have different, um, they last for different amounts of time. And so depending on what type of anesthetic you were actually given, that could affect how long you're gonna be numb. Um, another thing that will affect the duration that you're numb is where you were given the anesthetic. So generally when we're working on teeth on the bottom jaw, um, all of those teeth are connected to one nerve and we have to get the whole nerve numb in order to do anything. And so that lasts a long time. Um, the jawbone on our bottom jaw is a lot denser and so it takes longer for that anesthetic to dissipate because there's not as much blood supply there. On your top teeth, you have individual nerves that come down to the teeth and we can just get the tooth that we're working on numb. And so a smaller area of your mouth is numb and that anesthetic disappears a little bit faster because our bone on our top jaw is um, a little bit softer and has more blood. So your body processes that drug a little bit faster. Um, so that's a lot of information and I know you're wondering well, how long is it going to last for me? I just want to be able to go eat lunch or I have a meeting after my dental appointment and I want to be able to talk normally. So generally you want to plan your dental appointments so that you don't have um, something important you have to do right afterwards that involves a lot of talking or eating in front of other people um, just so that you can avoid dealing with a numb lip or a tongue while you're in public. But if you want a general estimate, think about when was the last time you had anesthetic and how long did it last the previous appointment. Um, and that's a good estimate for how long it will last for you in the future.